guess what she got? She got a lucky horseshoe. That's awesome. And it looks like it has some of the square nails still in it, right here. Cool, let's see the other side. Awesome. Man, it's it's complete too, eh? Hopefully this brings me luck, right? Horses <laughs> yeah. are lucky, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, they are. <laughs> All right, well, Simplex picked up a 60, what was it, a 65 to 68, something in there. Yeah. Anyway, pretty consistent. 360 degrees around the target. Anyway, she dug a small little round plug and we do have something in here. And as you can see, it looks like it might be brass. It's something in here. You wanna pull it? Just put your finger right down here and pull it back. I got no clue what this is, but it definitely looks very interesting. It might not be hollow. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Is there anything else in... Where's your pinpointer there? Let's see if there's anything else in here. No, there's not. Nothing in the hole. So here it is, and it looks like it's brass. And on the one side there, it looks like it might have been attached to something. Right there on the top. But, man, that's nice. Okay, we got a coin. And it looks like a quarter. It's not silver. It looks like it's just clad, so it's not gonna be old. And what do we got, a queen, Elizabeth? You wanna take it off, yeah? Mm -hmm. There it is. So it's probably in the 80s. Yeah, it looks like a 1982, guys, right there at the top of the screen. We're just trying out the Simplex today, or she is. And uh, yeah, we're hoping to score some stuff. So anyway, let's keep moving. So, plug is dug. Nothing in the hole. Uh, could be a piece of lead down there in the corner, but I guess we'll find out. Kind of looks like that. Try that corner thing down there. It is. Okay, so grab that. Okay, you got yourself a piece of lead. Mm, look at that. I don't... F this... I don't think it was a bullet. But, man, it's heavy. It's lead. And... This probably dates back in the 1800s, maybe mid-1800s. Could even pop a little earlier back than that. I can't believe you just scored that. She dug the plug down there at the bottom, rusty iron. Oh my God, you guys ready for this? That's a piece of a bayonet. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh my God, in the right area for things like this. And I've never found one of those before. So if that's a piece of a bayonet, man, killer, killer score. I got a buckle. Sweet, we got a simplex in action right here. That bayonet thing she just got, next signal, next hole, she got ourselves a buckle. Look at this. But the funny thing is, this wasn't the initial uh, target that she was looking at. It was this. So why she was looking for this, I was looking in the plug here, and guess what I pulled out of there? Not even those two items. Look what we got. We got a little tiny bead in the hole. So all three of those items came out of this one small little plug, about five inches across. But man, that's awesome. Anything like this could be old. Old, old, old. These little beads like this carry a lot of history. But man, that's awesome. You can't find that with a metal detector. Just think, the size of this field right now, finding a bead like that, just, yeah. I mean, it would be literally gone forever in anybody's books, but you just never know what's in the same hole as the targets you guys dig. Look around, you never know. But man, killer buckle, don't know what that is. It almost looks like one of those bear paw type things, but obviously it's, it's not. But man, buckle that and a bead. Killer, congrats. Anyway, we got a 66 to 68 consistent here in this hole. So hopefully, uh, I'm guessing maybe it's a large scent. Oh, let's find out and see what this is. Nothing in the hole, nope. Hmm. Yeah, we got a toony, look. Two dollars. All right, we got something here. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but it was hitting pretty good. It might have fallen in the hole there. Well, they say take all trash with you. Let me tell you something. This sucker's going nowhere. I'm going to leave this in a tree. It's going to become part of the tree in about 200 years. But I can tell you right now, I'm not carting this sucker home. It's super heavy. It is super heavy. 
anyway, within reason, we always take our trash, always with the stipulation. I mean, you're gonna be able to carry it. I mean, this thing weighs a ton. Oh, yeah.